Hello, uh, welcome to Trains in Viatic. It's another Wednesday video, and we're looking at the smart screen by Train Check again. Uh, I want to show a few little things with this one today. The main thing is how to uh, use it without DCC system once you have set it up. So after that, I'll also show you uh, putting it in the screen. And finally, once I've done everything else, I'll be showing you how to do a reset on it. So stay tuned and we'll go through everything, everything I haven't covered already. So now for the titles. As you can see, I've got five wires connected to this. We've got the two P's, which are power, but this time I have A, B and C connected. C is a common wire, which just happened to be after A and B. Then you've got A and B, which are actually switch wires. So what I have done is wired onto A, B and C and then powering it from P. So I still got two messages in there. So let's see what I can do with it with two messages. And for today, I'll be powering it from this battery. I will be using a command center at times to program it, but most of the power will be coming from a standard nine volt battery. So let's first of all power it up so you can see it's working from battery. So it looked like I have a mess on my desk. I don't. So we've got the smart screen here and that's leading to this wire which leads to this 9 volt battery adapter which I then just plug in. And you can now see that for trains running to Brighton. Now, on the other end, I got these two buttons, which when I press one of them, it's set it back to Brighton, and the other one, send it to London. So you can see it now say London, press that again, and it say still say London. Press the other one, and it turned to Brighton. I think the reason it takes a few seconds to actually register is because these are secondhand switches which I have had major problems with throughout the life. But I just got from here to actually demonstrate. But you can see pressing the button again and again won't actually give it any additional locations. We're just swapping between Brighton and London. So this is actually quite nice because you can have, have it like I'm having it set up at the bus stop where about it will have two destinations. So uh, reading the instructions you can actually give it multiple destinations. So I'll quickly program that up and then we can uh, see from there. I'm going to show you how to set this up on a cycling message. Uh, and then I'll program a few more screens as you can have it on a cycling message when it's on a uh, battery powered. So first of all, you set your controller to address 55 or whichever address you have set for this screen. And hit F8. Then you want to go into F5 for controller, and then you just press F6. You can set how fast you want it by changing plus and minus. 
So I'll set it to every three seconds for the time being, and then you press F6 to save it. So that will run for three seconds. And then it changed to the next one. So I'm now power for DCC system. And change it to battery. So this is, is the battery again. Plug in for battery in on for connection. And now it's saying Brighton. Now it has cycled to London. Back to Brighton. Back to London. And then it will just keep on cycling forever. I wouldn't suggest three seconds because that doesn't give you enough time for the screen to rotate. I say something about a seven as that what the default is. So I'll come back to you with several messages so we can see it cycling with several messages on it. As you can see, I now have four messages in it. So it's just cycling through them, which is quite nice. So what I'll do in a second is program it up uh, so that it's working on for buttons again so we can see what happened when we press buttons. So I now have the screen set up with four messages. So let's press buttons. Brighton, message three, four, and this is just rotating it. And let's see what the other one does. Now, rather than having control over your messages, both buttons are just changing for screen. So that's that's what the buttons can do so you could have a button by your where about the screen is for members of the public to press and then have a second button array at your section your command section to change it back to whichever one you want i'm going to be having it on the two message system for when I'm having it running as for uh, as for signal sign as for bu at the bus stop. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to show you how to reset the screen. So let's go and uh, pause the camera and try to get this in a better position. So I have a screen here and it's running through its messages but I don't like how it's operating. I made a mistake and I want to restart everything. So on the back, you have those contacts and then you'll see that there's one contact down there which I haven't soldered to, which is marked as L. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bridge that contact like so. And now for screen, is back to its original default position. So this is now a blank screen. I power it off and power it back on. So disconnect it, reconnect it. The messages are still there, but uh, the addresses are now uh, back to the original um, addresses. Last thing I'm going to show you is how to fit it into its enclosure. A few little bits you'll need to know beforehand is all these thick wires are too long for it. So I'll need to disconnect all the wires from this and then we'll be able to carry on. This is a housing to fit for smart screen in. A really nice 3D printed piece of plastic. You've got to hole at the bottom where the cables come through, and then you have a hole up at the top. Because I'm silly, I got five wires to go through this, and that's tight. So you just feed your wires through that hole, and then when you're done, you just connect it. 
Um, my advice would be to disconnect the cables from the screen and then feed them through. That will make your life so much easier. So once I've got that done, I'll show you with the screen in intact. So you can now see it's all working. So this is everything I can show you with the smart screen. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you on Saturday for the next video. Thank you very much. Richard.